dawn of the final day, huh? <laughs> well, I already recorded a fan fiction. After this one, I'm gonna record another one. But now I need a break. Welcome to Messed Up Waifu. By who other than Tokal Gol? Does he write all of these? At this point, I am kind of doubting that they're like 4chan games. I mean, I found them on 4chan and they're regularly, you know, choose your own adventures threats. So, so the assumption is that, yeah, never mind that, never mind that. I'm still gonna call them 4chan games because I got them from 4chan. So, uh, messed up waifu, huh? Alright. As you wake up in the middle of the night, you hear a horrifying, soul-piercing screech as a hole of darkness opens up in front of your bed. The menacing hole starts to spear out a black tar-like liquid, which quickly covers your entire floor. Paralyzed by fear, you keep staring at the hole, which grows bigger and bigger, until a nightmarish creature calls out of the hole. The creature calls closer and closer to you. You close your eyes and pray for a swift death. You can feel the creature slowly embracing you, and its warm and steamy breath against your face and something wet against your cheek. Is it licking you? You hear a click and open your eyes, blinded by the light from your bedroom lamp. You squint your eyes to try and see what the fuck is happening. You see a good girl lying on your bed next to you and she's smiling. You take a couple of minutes to calmly analyze the situation and come up with a rational explanation to why a cute girl is lying in your bed next to you, smiling. And she realize then the realization drones upon your mind, and full of confidence, you shout out, I fortify my soul and accept your deal. Satan, guide my cock! The mysterious girl appears to be startled and confused at your abrupt announcement. But she's also blushing and breathing heavy. <laughs> My name is Cynthia and uh, I'm actually a love goddess. But if you want, you can call me Satan. <laughs> I was born out of the despair, sadness, loneliness, broken hearts and dreams of countless of senpai-less girls from across the multiverse. I only wish to grant love to the loveless and bring happiness to the unhappy. I'm here to give you a loving wife. She will, she will love you forever and ever. Now tell me what kind of girls you like and I'll hook you up with the wife of your dreams. You slowly nod. You slowly nod your head and say, well, I guess that's fine too. <laughs> well, a cat is fine too. <laughs> Wait, one sec. Piece of paper time. I actually have it right here. But not a pencil. Where are my pencils always going? That's like the third one. Oh, there it is. All right. That 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 wasn't that that took didn't take as long as I expected. All right, one sec. All right. All right. Here we go. Choose one game mode. How do you respond to Cynthia's deal? Yes, please. Normal mode. Fuck you. You're fake goddess. Be the girl mode. I actually have an appointment with another god. Compatibility mode. Or, no, but thanks for asking. Random mode. Normal mode. This is the default game mode. No special rules added, just play it as it is, as it were meant to be played. Be the girl mode. Instead of getting a waifu, you will be turned into a messed up waifu. We'll also get 8 out of 10 attractive, normal husbando or waifu. Everything else will work the same as normal mode. Compatibility mode. Choose another choose your own adventure. This choose your own adventure will work as a meta choose your own adventure. <laughs> to your chosen choose your own adventure. <laughs> you can't spend compensation points on the compensation section. But at the end of this choose your own adventure, you will get to transfer half of the amount of compensation points rounded down to your chosen choose your own adventure as bonus points as well as getting a messed up waifu to accompany in your adventures. So, interesting actually. Random mode. You start with three compensation points and instead of choosing your waifu quirks, randomly select them by rolling a 
1D81. Every quirk will have a number above the image. That number will tell you which quirk you've got. You must roll at least six times. You may roll more if you want to. If a quirk you rolled has any tire option, you may choose it. You may choose if you want to gain one tire option. Everything else will work the same way as normal mode. Alright. Um, we are going to play normal. Because for a compatibility mode run. That sounds like I'm playing a fucking, fucking Elder Scrolls game. But for compatibility mode, uh, I would need to have another troops on adventure here as well. But uh, we already played all of them that I have on my computer, actually. So, yeah. Great. Compensation. Well, I guess I had to explain this at some point. The girls I'm trying to find has bundles for... Aren't the most... Aren't the most normal girls. <gasps> They're kinda quirky. The more quirks your wife has, the more messed up she is. The more compensation points you will get, which you can spend on a uh, compensation. <laughs> Many options have tires under them, and if you want to purchase a tire for option, you must first unlock the basic option. The cost is shown in parentheses. Do you want to take a look at the quirks before you choose your compensation? <laughs> Don't be silly, unknown. You definitely want to choose your compensation first. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not nervous. Just don't be a look, okay? <laughs> Please. Alright. Great. Money. The classic, eh? I give you enough money to make sure you and your wife won't ever need to work again. I will magically transfer money equal to the average wage in your country your bank account on a monthly basis. I'll make sure no one asks any questions about the money. Give it to me. That's not enough? Huh. Okay. I will give you infinite money. Yes! <laughs> um, simple reason. With an infinite amounts of money, you know how much you can do? You can do everything. Skill. Choose one skill or profession. I will make you proficient enough to be one of the best in the world at that skill or profession. If that is enough, not enough, I can make you a supernatural skill in your chosen skill or profession. As an example, if you pick music, you will become skilled enough to comp compose amazing music with a complete spell bind any audience. And you could even use your music to control small animals. That sounds badass. That, will, that sounds like... That sounds like a, a, a music-based superhero. Or a, or a super villain. <laughs> this reminds me of this cringy uh, uh, Joker and uh, Harley Quinn meme. She was his king and he was her queen or something like that. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. She was, she was his queen or something. Ah, I don't have the entirety in my head right now, but... Hmm. I mean, I already have infinite amounts of money. A skill wouldn't really do a lot. But on the other hand, there are so many songs in my head, but only music volumes, that I would, you know, I would love to make it, but, you know, too lazy. And they probably sound shit if you actually put them into the music sh stuff, but think about the possibilities. Imagine you create the one and only dubstep song, and for the, the, the first day, it's the first time ever a dubstep song is on number one, without any lyrics, and just imagine all these pretentious music critics being like, why is a dubstep song up there? And then, and, and then they actually listen to it and they're like, Ah, I love the bass. <laughs> oh, this this implies so many nice things. But we already have infinite amounts of money. Entertainment. I will give you a supercomputer which will scan your brain to create an endless amount of entertaining 10 out of 10 movies and TV series tailored after your tastes. If it somehow breaks or gets stolen, I will send you a new one, but... If you try to make money from the movies and TV series, I will fucking sue you. 
and you won't last 60 seconds in a multidimensional god prison. Tile 2, minus 1. The computer will also create com cr the computer will also create computer and video games for you. Yes, the same rules apply to the games, you little shit. <laughs> but here's the question. What if I what if I want to <laughs> What if I want a multiplayer game? Well, I'm guessing that the games and movies will just be released. I cannot sell them, but she sells them or something like that. Which does sound nice, but, uh, you know, Monster Hunter games are only good if they appear once or twice every five years. If you know what I mean. So we're, we have infinite amount of amounts of money as well. I could just, you know, I could just buy Valve and create Half-Life 3. Just saying. Beauty. Minus two. I can change your body to look however you want. This will be a one-time transformation. People will think you have always looked like that way. If you want them to, and everyone will perceive your new appearance as beautiful on a scale of 10 out of 10. Your new appearance will also age incredibly well. Minus four. You will also gain the power to shapeshift, but you can only remain shapeshifted for a total amount of four hours per day. Minus two. You can, you can, by the way, call me an inconfident piece of shit. Because if there's the option to change my appearance in any of these choose your own adventures, I will always take this one. Luck. You want luck? I can bless you with good luck. Your luck will be notable higher. For example, if you would gamble at a casino for a whole day, you would always make a profit. But if the profit is $1 out of $10,000, it's kinda random. Your luck will now be godlike. If anyone tries to shoot you with a AK-47, they can empty as many clips as they want. I still not to be able to hit you. This sounds nice, but keep in mind we have infinite amounts of money. I can just, you know, buy power armor. <laughs> pleasure. I will change your senses to amplify all types of pleasure. Food will taste better. Sex will feel better. But you won't come faster and flowers will smell better. <laughs> I find this cute. I find this cute. He's like, he's, uh, he's like, but you won't come faster. And flowers will smell better. <laughs> you get the idea. Anyone you have sex with will temporarily have their pleasure amplified. For as long as you have sex with them. Or minus one. I can make sure your senses never get used to a specific smell, taste, feel, or other stimuli. Everything will always feel fresh and exciting. Just like the first time you tried it. That actually sounds kind of nice. But I'm al already at minus seven. Um, let's read the others. Adventure. Minus three. Name a generic setting like gothic horror, for example, and I give you and your wife with the power to teleport between your world and the world with the setting you are choice. You can even bring friends with you. Minus one. Instead of choosing a generic setting, you get to choose any fictional universe you want. Oh. Sounds, sounds nice. Half and home. I can give you a super nice house. Don't need that infinite amounts of money. Comfort. You don't need to eat, sleep, go to the bathroom, and you will always be clean and fresh unless you don't want to. You're also immune to all diseases and your house will also clean itself. Listen, this sounds nice at first, but, um, listen. Come on. Sleep. Sleep sucks, but it's also nice. If she would have said there, yeah, uh, you don't need to, but you s you don't need to, you can, I can still, ca mm. Yeah, I take comfort. Minus two. We are at minus nine. Power. Uh, I have money. <laughs> I don't need power. I have money. Alright. Uh, power you... If I will give you one power, choose which your option are. Toggable, Hour of Fear, Wingless Flight, <coughs> Doggable Invisibility, 5 meter range, Fire Breath, Triple Strength, 3 meter range, Teleportation, Bulletproof Skin, Mind Reading, Magic Resistance, and Telekinesis. With power equal to your body strength, you can purchase this option multiple times. Instead of choosing one of the powers I offer you, get to choose whatever power you want, but 
The power you choose cannot make you or anyone else immortal. Change. Make a single wish that will change the whole world. Think of all the good you can accomplish, for example. You could end world hunger, prevent all wars or erase feminism. This sounds really tempting. Other examples are making magic real, turning all men into futas, or filling the world with hentai monsters. But you can't make any stupid wishes like, I want to become emperor of the world, or something like that. Ah, don't worry, there's already an emperor of the world. Donald J. Trump, the true emperor of mankind. Or something like that. You can purchase this option multiple times, of course. I want a wish. <laughs> I want a wish, but I already have infinite amounts of money. <laughs> I love it how easy these choose your own adventures are breakable. Immortality. You and your wife will never die of old age. You will always remain young. Ah, let's do this. Minus five. We cannot die of old age, so when the world ends, we just shoot each other in the hand. Simple as that. Alright, what have I chosen so far? So far I've chosen money. Minus five. Uh, I have something on minus two. Uh, that is beauty. And I have another thing on minus two that is, I'm pretty sure it's comfort. And, well, immortality. I think, yeah, those are the ones. Okay. So what would you like your wife to look like? Do you like short girls? Big breasts? Basically, the easier you make it for me, I find a wife with a matching appearance. To your taste. The less compensation points it will cost you. Just only one option below, since your wife will move to your universe, she has no place to live. So we'll need to take care of her. Ah, I don't mind that. So, um, since I have infinite amounts of money, <laughs> I can't provide that. <laughs> this is, this is so broken. <laughs> infinite amounts of money in our universe is so broken. Like Jesus Christ. Low standards, I will pick appearance for your waifu. Roll a 12D. Josie, you get to pick any girl from a picture in the quirk section, but it must be from a quirk which you have purchased. Picky. Minus one. You get to pick any girl from a picture in this game. Most section. Picture in the game mode section. Alright. Any girl from a picture in the game mode section, quirk section, or this section. Shallow as fuck. Minus two. Tell me exactly how you want your waifu to look. Or show me a picture of your I ideal appearance. And I will find a way. I will find a. I will find you a waifu with that appearance. The multiverse is pretty big place after all. I think I... So that showsy thing is anything from the quirk section of a quirk that I've purchased. We are right now at... Uh... 10... Minus 14. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. It's probably going to fuck me. Alright. Alright. I, I'm gonna take Chosie, so anything from the quirk section. So this falls out of the picture, which is kinda good. Alright, quirks. Quirks are personality traits, fetishes and other things. You can't change or cure any of your wife's quirks. Believe me, I have tried. You will just have to learn to live with them. If a quirk has several tires under it, then you can only purchase one tire for that option. For example, if a quirk has a tire 2 and a tire 3 option, you want the tire free option, then you need to purchase the other original quirk and then the tire free option. Completely ignore the tire 2 option. At the end of this, you must have zero or more op compensation points left. You can't pick any quirks which cancel each other out or does not logically work together. But if the quirks contradict each other and you can come up with a logical solution to why they would work together, you can pick them. For example, if you pick Super Sadist and Super Masochist, you could get a split personality to make the Sadist and Masochist quirks work together. If you actively try to deny your wife her quirks, make her feel sad and unloved for a long time or break her heart, I will fucking find you and have a long talk with you. 
When I say talk, I actually mean that I will murder you in your sleep. Ah, don't look so scared, Anon. It was only a joke. <laughs> right. I was only joking. Silly me. Yeah. After you see the quirks, don't pussy out on me like all those other guys. I swear I will... Never mind. Just don't chicken out, okay? <laughs> now we get to the actual meat of the game. Uh, because there were actually a lot of pictures I have to censor. Had to censor. Um, I have the feeling there were more that I had to cancel out completely than in the Deus Vult game. So, <laughs> this is uh, scary. Alright. Terrible humor. Your wife who has a horrible sense of humor, which no one finds funny, but she constantly tries to make jokes and be funny. Whenever someone is not laughing or is noticeably fake laughing at your, her jokes, she will become extremely nervous and try even harder to be funny. So, so she's going to be like me. I don't want to be like me. No, thank you. No vampires? Delusional. Your wife was a bit crazy. Sometimes she will see things that aren't there and try to interact with them. On rare occasions she will realize this is not real and stop. She will often ask you if you truly are real and not just her imagination playing tricks on her. I could deal with that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could deal with that. I mean, I'm a YouTuber. I read the comments. I know how to deal with that shit. <laughs> it's a joke. I love you. All right. Hi, Libido. Your wife will demand that you have sex with her at least X times per day. If you fail to do so, she will rape you X times. Decide what number it is. All right. Um, that is a little bit personal, but nah, I'm not gonna to say it. But uh, hmm. I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking, because here I can choose X amounts of times, and in the other ones, they're like, Oh, she needs sex every once an hour. Oh, she needs sex every 20 minutes, you know? Um, hmm. I'm just going to add one, alright? Just going to add one. Alright. Minus 12. Dirty mouth, plus one. Your wife will have a really nasty vocabulary. She'll constantly swear and curse. Tire 99 plus 1. What? Why is this? What? Your wife will use a language so foul and graphic it would give your grandma a heart attack. Um. Hmm. I'm actually considering this one. N not the Tire 99 one. Even though it's kind of strange that this is Tire 99. Your wife will have a really nasty vocabulary and she will constantly swear and curse. So since, since she is delusional. <laughs> <laughs> okay, imagine, imagine this scenario. Imagine, since she's delusional and sometimes imagines things. Imagine a huge flying dr She imagines a huge flying dragon and she's like, Hey, you fucking piece of shit! Get down here, I wanna fly the fucking dragon, you fucking cunt! <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny for like two days. Let's continue reading. Exhibitionist. Your wife loves when you look at her body with eyes full of desire. She will dress like a turbo slut and only wear the most provocative attire to get your attention. Your wife will dress even sluttier. The clothes will barely cover her naughty bits and camel toes and smaller things will be very common. Attire zero. Your wife will refuse to wear any clothes. Is that in public or private? If it's private, you know, this is one of these vague things where I would actually ask her straight up. <laughs> if it's in public, I wouldn't take this one. If it's in the home, I would take Tire Zero. Um, but since it's called Exhibitionist, that would mean it, it would be in public. So the implications are there on both. Mm. I will say that for the sake of this video, this exhibition thing will be only at home, okay? Because I need to lose some points. Alright, we're not going to take this one. Twin sister! Your wife has a twin sister whom she loves, maybe a little too much. 
They share everything with each other, including you. You will have two wives to love, and her sister is just as quirky as her and has uh, all the quirks. You must have at least three other quirks in order to purchase this quirk. Your wife has two sisters instead of just one. Good luck dealing with three wives. You know what they say, too many wives will ruin your life. Oh my god, the twin sister is tempting, but not the tire three. <laughs> Let me... let me continue reading. Your wife was a radical extremist. Pick one ideology or religion she will follow. Don't think it would be easy to pick an ideology or religion which you are part of. If you are a Christian and pick Christianity, she will be one of those Bible-thumping fundamentalist extremists who follow the Bible to the letter. If you are an atheist and pick atheism, she might ruin religious charities to the starving children by hacking them. And her atheism would even frighten and disturb Richard Dawkins. Hmm. This one sounds tempting. The, the, the atheism one. Hmm. I can actually see myself helping her. <laughs> Heck the religion. Um. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. I'm a piece of shit, I know that, but because I know this, it makes me like a quarter less a piece of shit. So I'm like three quarters a piece of shit. Hmm. I take atheism. <laughs> Unless she wears a fedora. If she starts wearing a fedora, I'm not going to take this one. <laughs> ah, it's a joke, it's a joke. Shit tire one, you can't like the ideology or religion you pick. And the cancer tire, you must hate the ideology or religion you pick. Wouldn't that ruin the relationship? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I take the regular one. We're at minus 11. That doesn't sound good. Ah, you know what? We, we keep the twin sister in mind. Alright! <laughs> so, page number two. Split personality. Your wife will have two different personalities, which she will frequently switch between. Her two personalities will be opposite of each other. Tire 5 plus 1. Instead of just two, your wife has five different personalities. They all have their own names and memories. All of them love you. Creepy. Your wife is completely devoid of emotions. She will base her decisions and actions on logic and what appears to be her wins. Lack of emotions and expressionlessness, facial will make people view her as cold, uncaring, robotic, and uncanny. If you pick another quirk which requires your wife to show emotions, she will have that quirk but perform it without any emotion. Clingy. Your wife is extremely clingy and loves to hug you, hold hands, kiss you, and cuddle, especially if any of your female friends are present. I don't have any female friends. I only have this one girlfriend of mine. Let's continue reading. She loves to grope you, French kiss you, get her hand onto your pants and grab your junk and stuff like that in public places, especially if any of your female friends are close by. Hmm. Hmm. I take clingy one. Minus ten. Magical girl. Your wife is a magical girl. She will fight monsters on a weekly basis and drag you along onto her adventures. I should probably warn you though. The chances of getting raped by a hentai monster and tentacles on her magical girl adventures are very high. And don't think they will spare you just because you're a man. Do I get a gun? <laughs> Please? <laughs> like a shotgun? Maybe? A, t a fucking 12 gauge? Please? If I get a 12 gauge, you know what? I take this one. I take this one. I need it. If I get a 12 gauge, I take this one. Minus nine. Fuck it. Let's do this. Idiot savant. To say your wife who is not the sharpest tool in the shed would be an understatement. She have a hard time remembering even the simplest thing. And man, is she simple minded. But she's extremely gifted in a particular skill. You can choose what it's skill. So she has autism, or Down syndrome, maybe both. <laughs> your wife was not skilled in anything, she's just retarded, great. Let's try that, your wife loves to look at weird porn on hentai. 
She loves to try new things and will demand that you help her try out new fetishes and experiment. No fetishes too crazy for her. Furry, scat, I'm out. Attention whore. Your wife is a huge attention whore and loves taking pictures of herself. When you are not with your wife, she will bombard your phone with pornographic pictures of her. If you don't respond to any of her pictures and give her some attention, she will accidentally send her loot pictures to your friends and family. Well, I wouldn't mind the friend thing, because three of my friends are gay, and they would be like, You go, girl! And the other three, they wouldn't give a shit. The problem would be the family part. Let's put this one on the maybe folder, because, uh, you know. Sex marathon! You must de dedicate two days per month to uh, non-stop sex with your wife, Ru. You get to rest in between your refractory periods. Mm. It's kinda cute. Uh, my girlfriend actually uh, said we should do something like that if we would actually ever meet in real life. I love this girl. <laughs> so... Yes, I could deal with that, especially because that is going to be a waifu. <laughs> oh, by the way, we haven't chosen the appearance yet. Ah, let's just keep going, and at the end I choose... Talkative. Your waifu will be extremely talkative and will never be quiet unless she's eating or sleeping. You could also throat fuck her hard enough to make her throat sore, but even when she will only be quiet, even, even then she will only be quiet for it. Three hours at max. No, thank you. Wait, wait, wait. There was... Wait, wait. There actually was a girl that kind of looked pretty cute. The one from the delusional folder here. Uh, <laughs> go on. Go on, she's cute. She's cute. Th that's how our wife was going to look like. Yes. I take that one. Alright. Let's keep on reading. Favorite toy, just one sex toy which is only your wife's favorite sex toy. She will constantly wear and or use it, but as discreetly as she can. Some examples you can choose are dildo, ball gag, egg vibrator, latex suit, butt plug, anal beads, collar and leash. Collar and leash, oh you cunt. Hobble dress, what's a hobble dress? Fuck it, I'm gonna google that. No, I'm not going to google that. <laughs> Um, arm binders, urethra pluck, posture collar, nipple clamps, or handcuffs. You know what, just to get rid of another point, I would actually take this one. So, which one of these would be not that visible in public? I would say the butt plug. But on the other hand, then her... Hmm. Collar and leash. Depends on the leash, actually. If the collar is kind of not so obvious, and I don't have to hold the leash, and we kinda... Hmm. Yeah, that could actually kinda work. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Don't, don't give me that look. Yeah, but, but it could be possible, depending on the leash. The, le the leash is where it breaks or comes, if you know what I mean. Um, because there is the possibility of the collar and leash thing to work. Plus one there, minus six. No, orgasm denial, plus one. Your wife has an almost supernatural ability to sense when you are about to come. She knows exactly how to stimulate you without letting you reach orgasm. Whenever you have sex with her, she will edge you to your limit and only after hours of sex will she let you come. Mm. Mm. You know what? I don't know how orgasm denial feels. I'm pretty sure it's supposed it's it's painful. Listen, I'm a virgin, all right? Okay. Um Hmm, I don't know about this one, is what I want to say. On the other hand, this could actually work more or less quite well if I would be, 
you know, one of those people that come really fast. So you know what? Just because of that, I'm going to take this one. I don't believe in my own abilities. Great. Let's continue reading. Cuck Queen. Your wife will force you to date other girls, and when they truly love you, she will have sex with you and make sure they find out you're cheating on them. Nothing turns on... Mm. Nah. Nah. Nothing turns her on as much as seeing their tear-streaked faces and heartbroken expressions while you're rather sure with your cock. Nah. 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 Fertility. Your wife is extremely fertile and wants you to constantly impregnate her. Expect to have many children. Or your wife was infertile. I take infertile. Let's continue reading. Snugfit! Whenever you watch a movie, cuddle or just sit comfortably in a sofa together with your wife who she will sit in your lap and she will put your penis inside of her. This is not sex. She sees this more as holding hands. But with your genitals. She has enough sense to not do this in front of other people. She will, <laughs> she will try to discreetly do this in front of other people. Like if you're watching a movie with some friends, she will get a blanket to cover it up. Or cover it with your skirt. Nah, it's take Snugfit 1. Minus 4. Desserts. Your wife will bake delicious desserts for you, which you must eat. She will include a secret ingredient in her cooking. Choose between milk, breast milk, blood, or sexual fluids. Depending on the amount of blood. Okay? Depending on the amount of blood. And me not thinking about the fact that there's blood. Like the breast milk I don't give a shit about. You know, I'm, I'm a man of culture. I like tits, alright? But the blood thing. The blood thing. What kind of blood is that? I mean, what kind... If, if, if she's just, you know, cutting into her finger and doing a little few droplets into it. Alright. I don't give a shit. And hey, well, it's minus two. Minus two. Come plucked. I will bless you to produce more cum. For three days every week you must fill up your wife with cum and then pluck her up properly. So no cum will drip out. Being so full of cum will make her feel a lot of pleasure. She'll breathe heavy and make lewd faces. That won't work in public actually, but I'm not opposed to that idea. Hmm. I will make the blessing even more powerful. Your wife will look pregnant with all of your cum inside her. Ugh, this is tickling one of my fetishes, but it's, it, it wouldn't work in modern-day society, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Weapon obsession, yes! Your wife was obsessed with weapons and have a huge collection of them. Yes, there's the 12 gauge! There's the 12 gauge for the magical girl shit! Yes! <laughs> she will always wear or carry at least one weapon with her wherever she go, and she will insist on using her weapons during sex as sex toys. How? Seeing action movies with weapons in them will make her super horny. How? How, how, how? Wait, wait, wait. How is she going to use guns? Oh. Of course. Okay, 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 I get it. I, I, I get it, I get it. Okay, for, for a sec I was confused. I get it. You don't have to type it into the comments. I take this one. <laughs> Just because then I get the 12 gauge for the magical girl shit. Yandre, no. Neat. Your wife was an antisocial neat with extremely bad social skills. She refused to go outside, but you can talk her into going outside after a lot of bribing and persuasion. Mmm. Tired too. Your wife was a lazy slob. Each time you want her to clean her room to take care of. <gasps> Sorry care of personal hygiene, you will have to bribe or force her. If you force her, she will put up one hell of a fight. No, thank you. Lowly! This option will alter your wife's appearance. Your wife was a lowly. She's either very young or just looks very underage. She also loves to call you nicknames like Pedo Bear and Lolicon. This quirk combined with some other quirks can get you into some serious trouble. Well... To go back on page one. That does look kind of like a lowly. So just... Wait, that's page 3. We're still on page 2. Hmm. We are on minus 1. 
I am a disgusting individual. But that means you can get a few more compensations. I, I really want the lowly thing, but on the other hand, that would be real life. And real life, that... Mm -mm. No. Lowlies only look good in cartoon form, is what I want to say. Because in real life, that would be just... Ugh, no. Mm. Ugh. Always by your side. Your wife will always be close by. She will constantly follow you wherever you go. And never leave you alone. If you need to go to the bathroom, she will follow you inside. If you need to go to work, she will get a job at your work so she can follow you. We don't we don't need that. <laughs> I don't have a job. If we get infinite amounts of money, I don't need a job. If she can't follow you somewhere, she will prevent you from going there. That picture alone is kind of creepy, so no. No bucks, please. Seductive. Your wife is exceptionally captivating and alluring. She's constantly flirting and trying to get you in bed. She has a way with body language and words which will make her almost impossible to resist. Your wife also loves to flirt with and cock tease other people. This includes your friends and family, but rest assured she will never cheat on you. Just because of the never cheat on you, I should actually kind of take this one, but uh, no, no thank you. Sleepyhead! Ha, <laughs> that picture is cute. Oh, that picture is adorable. Your wife is tired and sleepy all the time. She also has a habit of falling asleep. You could be eating a romantic dinner and she could fall asleep and face dive into her food plate without warning. The only thing you can do to energize her and make her lively and alert is to have sex with her. Then she won't be tired or sleepy for two hours. <laughs> phone sex. Whenever you answer your phone or make a call, your wife will give you a blowjob. Your wife gives amazing blowjobs if... You, if <laughs> it would be next to impossible to get a mono breath. On why she's sucking on your dick. <laughs> no. 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 Ooh, pet play. Super sadist. No. Super masochist. Your wife can only feel pleasure, love, and happiness when she is treated like shit. You must constantly degrade, humiliate, hurt, and treat your wife as garbage. Otherwise, she will become severely depressed. Tired too. You mustn't ever show your wife any kind of tenderness, love, and respect. Hmm. Don't give me that look just because I'm thinking, okay? I'm not going to take this one. I was only thinking about the possibilities, how it would be in an actual relationship, and how long I could endure it, and... <sighs> Anyways, pet play. Pick an animal. 50% of the time you spend together with your wife or she will behave like that animal and wants you to treat her like your pet. Public? That's like the only question where most of my fetishes and her fetishes will be a problem. <laughs> um, so it's just that 50% of the time. Since we are rich pieces of shit. We will most likely spend most of the time at home anyways, because of the peasants outside. But on the other hand, hmm. Fuck it! I take pet play. Jesus, I want this one. Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't give me that look. Don't give don't give me that condescending look. Alright? I want my girl to yeah all the time. Alright? Fuck it. Sh shut up, shut up. Favorite color. Choose a color you choose. Your color is your wife whose favorite color. All her clothes and belongings are different shades of that color. She will insist that all of your clothes and belongings must also be different shades of, your f of her favorite color. Hmm. Hmm. Let's say I would say black is her favorite color. Would that mean that since it's all the different kinds of shades that would also include white but on the other hand that would be kind of depressing only being dressed in black and white I mean I'm only dressed in black and white hmm. alright if a favorite color if it's black includes white grey etc then I would take it 
I'm gonna take it because that's just how it is. Hide and seek your wife has epic pickpocketing skills and will steal important items you own and stuff them deep inside one of her holes. Mm -hmm. But this is kinda kinky. Might be a elbow deep in her. You might be elbow deep in her ass <laughs> looking for your phone. Mm. Well, well <clears throat> this does sound tempting, but I couldn't deal with that for too long. Rape. Your wife has a rape fetish and 90% of the times so you have sex with her, your wife will act like you are raping her. She will cry, scream and try to resist. Her acting will be so realistic and convincing it will really look and feel like you are raping her. Turn it into 50% of the time and you would have a deal, but no thank you. Nymphomaniac, no thank you. Let go, whenever you are close to orgasm or, or whenever you are close to orgasm or orgasm while being inside of your wife, she will hold you as tightly as she can to prevent you from pulling out and squeeze your dick with all her might. For every second you are inside of your wife or after you have reached orgasm, you will have a new orgasm. The longer you stay inside her, the weaker you will become and the harder it will be to pull out. If you fail to pull out before reaching 2000 orgasms, you will become unconscious for an hour due to our overstimulation. You will fail about 70% of times to try to resist. If you were planning on replacing your <laughs> sleep with unconsciousness, I should give you a fair warning. Sleep and unconsciousness are not the same thing and you could be facing serious health problems if you ignore your body's needs and to sleep. <laughs> you know what? I can take this one. I can take this one. <laughs> be, be, because if I, if I if I'm plus one, by the way. So comfort. <laughs> I can actually take this one. <laughs> I can take this one without any repercussions. Mm, this is really tempting. <laughs> Um, oh, we still have one page left. We are at plus two. I just had an idea. Let's keep on reading. Page three. Quiet, your wife who is very timid and quiet. She does not speak much, actually, she does not speak at all. Most of the communication will be through body language. It's actually kind of cute, but I'm not sure if I could live with that too long. Technophobe. Modern technology scares your wife and she will refuse to interact with anything more advanced than medieval technology. Nah. And the other thing. Nah. 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 I I'm pretty sure somebody on 4 would take that one. Milk lover, your wife who loves to drink milk, but her body can't handle lactose. This is not your everyday lactose intolerance. When she drinks milk or consumes another product with lactose in it, arousal is good. <laughs> for example, if she drinks one glass of milk, she will be horny and dripping wet for hours. If she drinks two glasses, she will be unable to resist to masturbate for hours. And God forbid if she would drink an entire milk box. What are you doing, you two? Stop that. My rabbits are trying to break out. No, no, you're not. No, you're not gonna do that. Hmm. The milk lover sounds pretty nice. Um. Hmm. Any product with lactose? If I can manage to make her not drink milk. Outside, I would safely take this one. I am going to take this one. Plus three. Sexist. Your wife was a math is sexist. She thinks women are inferior to men, and the woman's place is in her home, cleaning and cooking for her husband. She will be the ultimate housewife, but she will also expect you to act like a stereotypical man. You must always be horny, you must always be strong and manly, you must only do masculine things that you cannot display unmanly emotions or behavior. 
You're not being manly enough for her, she will cry herself to sleep thinking you are gay and don't love her. Nope. Emasculation, your wife wants to turn you into a skewed submissive trap. Nope. Delinquent, your wife has a really bad attitude. She's unruly, disobedient, does not know. Horny, your wife whose arousal can only be relieved when she has sex with you. Otherwise, it will just build up and she will become hornier and hornier. Fortunately for you, she has a habit of masturbating every day. And if she gets too aroused, she won't be able to stop masturbating until you have sex with her. That is kinda hot. <laughs> that is really kinda hot. <laughs> Especially with the combination of pet play. <laughs> I, uh... I, I take this one. Remember, we are rich. We, we, we don't have to go to work and, and stuff like that. Beast, no, no bestiality. I don't want to be cucked by a fucking dog. Milking. Your wife whose breasts produce an abnormal amount of milk. If her tits are not drained in regular intervals, they will swell up and become bigger and bigger until they will become so big she can't move. Your wife who can't milk her own tits because milking herself will make her orgasm like crazy. And it's really hard for her to drain her tits while coming non-stop. That is also kind of hot. I must admit. Hmm. However, that could turn quite annoying. Pure and innocent. Your wife who is a very definition of innocent and pure. As a side effect to this, your wife who thinks sex is gross and disgusting. She absolutely hates it. Only after hours of begging persuasion will she be able to have sex with her. That contradicts with a lot of shit that I've chosen so far. Daddy issues. Now we're getting into the interesting part. Is that... Is that a Shatman pick? That looks like Shatman. Is that... Is this that Shatman? I love Shatman. Your wife who father was absent during her childhood and as a result she has become serious issues. Your appearance and personality reminds her of her father. She will do whatever you can... Whatever she can do to please you. And she wants you to spank her when she has... She will always frequently call you daddy and wants you to call her pumpkin. Alright. This is embarrassing. I'm already calling my girlfriend pumpkin, so... That wouldn't actually change much. Plus one. We're at plus five. <laughs> Troll, your wife would deprive happiness and sexual pleasure from teasing, trolling and annoying people in different ways. This includes you, by the way. No, 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 no. Your wife who is hungry. Your wife who has an unusual high metabolism. Her body requires six times the amount of food that the average person needs to eat. If your wife who isn't getting enough food, she will be prone to mood swings and expect her to be angry as fuck. Your wife who's abnormal eating won't make her fat or make her gain weight like crazy. Oh, that's good. Hmm. So we have infinite amounts of money, so we can afford the hunger thing, actually. But we couldn't go into a restaurant, that would be a problem. How fast does she eat the food? Does she order it after another? If she orders it one after another, let's say we are in a fancy noble uh, uh, restaurant. She takes the number 33, then she eats number 33, then she is like, hey, here, uh, I take the number 33 again, and then they're like, yeah, all right, whatever. Then I take this one. If it's like that, I take this one. I'm gonna take this one, plus six. Romantic messages. Your wife will leave you romantic messages written on mirrors and windows. The downside is that she writes them with her own blood. She will leave messages on your car, on your job. I don't have a job because we have infinite stuff but money. <laughs> and other places where you're likely to see them. Nah. Nah. Sweaty. Nope. Cry, baby. Your wife was prone to crying. If she sees a sad movie, she will cry. If you deny her something she wants, she wants, she will cry. If she bumps her foot into something hard, she will cry. Your wife is basically cry, baby. Would you judge me if I would take this one? I take this one. 
Junkie, your wife was a drug crazy Yankee. Depends on the drug, really. But since it just says drug crazy junkie and I know the humor of these games, it would be any drug. No, thank you. Just imagine her taking crocodile. Then I would immediately break up with her. Non-sensitive. Your wife whose aerogenous zones are non-sensitive. She will not experience any physical pleasure during sex and has a tendency to do anything to do other things. That doesn't work with what I took before. No incontinence, please. Super tight. Your wife whose holes are super tight and textured to provide amazing pleasure. The downside is that you will become addicted to having sex with her. The more sex you have with her, the more addicted you will become. If you're not careful, you could end up spending all of your days having sex with your wife. She wouldn't mind it though. That's no, 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 no. I have infinite amount of money. I wanna, I wanna enjoy that. I don't just wanna fuck. Self harm. Your wife will regularly cut herself with sharp objects. From time to time, your wife will seriously injure herself and gain permanent scars on her wrists, arms, and legs. But the injuries will never be life threatening. Scarred. Your wife has scars all over her body. Again, I, I would. I, you, you know me. I don't mind scars, but if the op I have the option to not have scars, I, I don't care. Zomnophilia. Your wife has a fetish for having sex with the sleeping people. She will regularly have sex with you when you are asleep. She will even put sleeping pills in your drinks at such. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Plus eight. Probably could deal with that one. Come, addict! Your wife is addicted to your cum and will suffer from depression and withdrawal if you do not feed her your cum on a daily basis. Well, we already chose libido, so... <laughs> when you have sex with her, she won't let any cum go to waste and she will lick it all up and collect it in a bottle for later use. She will use her cum bottles to spice up her food and drinks. <laughs> she were to ask her what the favorite food or drink is, she will proudly tell them it's your cum. And offer them to taste saffron. Oh, ew. Ew. If that last part wouldn't be there, I would probably take it, but no. Choose between asshole and mouth. That is your wife's favorite hole, and 70% of the time you will have sex, you must use her favorite hole. Your wife's favorite hole is either her nipples or her pee hole. Choose which. What do you mean these holes are not fuckable? Well, that might be true, but hers are. Sensitive. Your wife and engineer zones are very sensitive to stimulation, and as a result, she will moan and scream very loudly during sex or stimulation. All your neighbors will probably hear every time you have sex with her. Yeah, but here's the good thing. We will be rich as fuck, we will live in a mansion out in the countryside. The only thing that would happen would probably that we wake up our mercenary soldiers that we need to protect our property. Did I just say something that I shouldn't have said? Um, I take sensitive, and you forget what I said, okay? Thank you. I say stop. Whenever you have sex with your wife, she will decide when you are done having sex, and she won't give a shit about your post-orgasm sensitivity. I will also bless your dick to not go limp after you orgasm. I'm seriously considering this one. Fuck me, please. One random time per day, your wife will get on all four and put her pussy right in the air, point her towards you and beg you to fuck her. She won't stop begging you or move from this position until you fuck her. She won't do this when other people are looking at you, but she will do so in this public... She will do this in public places if she thinks she could get away with it. Or barely get away with it. Or just one or two people find out it's no big deal. Nope. Blunt. Your wife is extremely blunt and will always tell people what's on her mind. She won't care if she hurts someone feeling offended. They are being terribly rude. Well, I took the extremist atheist, so she's already blunt. So I guess that's a free point. What? Am I wrong? <laughs> so I guess I get a free point there. I'm... I think. Ten. Dripping wet. Whenever your wife gets horny, your pussy will become dripping wet. Her sexual fluids will gush down her legs and it will be 
next to impossible for your waifu to hide her arousal from others. That's kinda hard. Body swap. Your wife has the body swap fetish and as the kind of goddess I am, I will grant your wife who her fetish. Nope. Unique style. Your wife has a really weird taste in clothes. She refused to wear any normal clothes which do not match her clothes style. For example, she could have a thing for witches and only dress like a witch. Or she could like those skin tight science fiction bodysuits and only wear those. You get to choose what kind of style she's into, but it must be something weird. Like that dress? If it's like that dress, I don't give a shit. But, you know. Let's just keep reading. Cynical asshole, meek, bossy. I want an asshole, meek. Your wife is the meekest person you will ever find. She scares easily and you are the only person that can calm her down. It can be anything from a violent movie to be a thunderstorm. Uh, that doesn't work with the gun nut, huh? Since... Your wife is also super submissive. That's... That's... One sec, one sec. I'm recording this with paint. That, wait. Wait. This. This is the trigger here. It is almost like she has no free will of her own. The only thing she wants is to make you happy, and she will let you decide everything for her. For example, if you two are eating at a restaurant, she will ask you to pick something for, to eat. And if you ask her for suggestions on a movie to watch, she will look at you and tell you to decide. Let me think. Is there any fetish that we took that this doesn't work? Let me think. Where the gun nut... Wait, wait. S uh, 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 violent movie. Hmm. That doesn't work with the gun nut or... It could work with the magical girl. Again, I have a 12 gauge. On the other hand, I'm super rich. I technically don't need the gun nut thing. I could just go out, buy me a license and get the shotgun. Yeah. You know what? Let's take away the gun nut, uh, so I can take the meek. Wouldn't change anything in numbers. So, yeah, infinite amounts of money. Best thing ever. It's broken. It's broken. <laughs> Bossy, your wife is extremely strong, willed, and ah, uh, doesn't work with the meek, of course. All right, that's it. That's my messed up wife. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we what what do we have? We have a magical girl that loves pet play, is really meek, <laughs> and is a super duper atheist, a little crybaby. She's hungry, and <laughs> oh, um, but we are actually at plus ten. Now the question is, with the compensation. She just says that I am supposed to choose first, but she doesn't say that I can choose again. Huh? Alright, alright, alright. It's probably a no-no. But let's just pretend I would be allowed, okay? Just for the lols. Okay? So I don't need the skill because I have infinite amounts of money. I don't need the entertainment because I have infinite amounts of money and I can just pay EA. Hey, I give you 500 million bucks. Please make this game happen. Beauty have we taken? I take... If I take luck... Um... You know what? I take super luck. Then we are at plus three. Why do I take super luck? No, 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 no. Let's not take super luck. Because that would make every game boring. Um, so let's not take luck. Pleasure. I will change your sense of amplify. Ba, 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 ba. You know what? Since she is, she, she, she does need quite a lot of, you know what I mean. I take the minus three so that the sex will always be good. So we are at plus seven. Uh, hard and home. We have infinite of money. Adventure! Name a generic setting. Alright, I take the minus three. No, let's not take the minus three. 
because I already adjusted my waifu's quirks to fit the real world. So let's just keep on scrolling, 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 scrolling. Um, immortality is already taken. Change. Make a wish. Um. Hmm. You know what? I could erase most of political correctness that is mo right now ruining most of the things. But when I have infinite amounts of money... Hmm, minus three to get rid of 90% of the social justice bullshit. Four. Power. I will give you one power to switch. Hmm, nah. I stayed at plus four. What? Don't give me that look. Just because I have so many options still left that I could choose. You just want a little bit of less uh, here, uh, political correctness, and that's it. Because she's uh, be mainly because uh, I don't need to wish for uh, hentai monsters since she is a magical girl. So. And I have a 12 gauge. <laughs> I have infinite amounts of money. That is. Uh, that is too broken. That wish. So, yeah. That was my messed up waifu. We are more or less at plus 10 on more or less on plus 4. My name is Sweet Hopi. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, final day. Can't believe it's already over. The summer of love. But don't worry. Mm. As always, I will still do occasionally a fan fiction with the Let's Play shit. And uh, hey, maybe October something is coming <laughs> uh, probably not coming because uh, October Halloween that fits more of a creepypasta thingy but on the other end creepypastas lately have been so unpopular and shit yeah M maybe I just maybe I just read <laughs> a couple of fan fictions that are with characters from Nightmare Before Christmas for example is Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween movie or, or is it is it a Christmas movie? Because in Germany it, it, it plays twice like that, uh, at least on the um, TV station that I used to watch as a kid. Like, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas came once during the autumn times with, with Halloween and it came once during winter. So, ex I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. My name is Sweet Topi. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoyed the Summer of Love. And tomorrow on Sunday, I will upload a compilation of the outtakes that were made during the Summer of Love. Because if I would have to download all of the fanfiction that I've recorded with outtakes, I would s literally sit here for hours. So, yeah, let's keep it at this. My name is Sweet Topi. Have a nice one. Goodbye. <laughs>